Hello students, welcome back to your science class. So student, in the previous class, in the chapter that is reaching the age of adolescence, we were talking about the changes that occur when a person reaches to the age of adolescence students. Here students, uh, we have understood the term adolescence, we have understood the meaning of puberty. Adolescence is basically what? It is that period between the adulthood and childhood. This is the phase between adulthood and childhood. So we can say here that it is what it is somewhat from uh, 13 to 19 year and since it is what it comes in a teen year that is why we will include or we will say the adolescence as a teenagers also. Now not only the adolescence there is an another term that we know is puberty. What is the role of a puberty here? Role of puberty is uh, actually puberty is that phase when a person is ready to show the process of reproduction or ready to give birth. Okay, that phase is called as a puberty. Now here during puberty or when the person reaches to the puberty or become adolescent, then there is lot of a different changes occur in the body. That changes is marked by the not only the physical changes but it is all it also includes the emotional or the mental changes also. Okay, so uh, what are the different kind of a changes that we will see here? So basically, we have classified the changes also into two types. The first one is the external change, and second one is internal. Okay, so during adolescence phase students, uh, changes that happen, it will inclu include the external changes as well as the internal changes also. Talking about the external changes or internal changes students, so first of all, we have started with the internal changes. So a lot of a different kind of a changes including the physical changes that can be seen in case uh, when the person reaches to the or achieves the puberty. So the, the internal or uh, internal changes which occur students, it includes the first one is the increased uh, activity of sweat and oil gland. So here the sweat gland, when a person reaches to puberty, uh, then uh, the sweat gland become active and just starts releasing sweat. So a lot of uh, sweating will occur because of the, uh, the sweat gland as well as in this period even the oil glands they also become active. So oil glands they used to release a lot of uh, oil and that um, will also lead to pimple or acne during the space of students. Okay, so sweat gland uh, causes a lot of uh, sweating while the oil gland it causes uh, making uh, uh, the skin very oily uh, due to which acne or pim pimple can be resulted. Now the next one is the development of the reproductive organ. So when a person achieves the, uh, the puberty then the reproductive organ also becomes uh, operational, it also becomes active. So we can say here that uh, during this uh, the, uh, the reproductive system, the reproductive organ become active. Now see here, uh, uh, we know that the testis is there and ovaries are there. So when a person achieves puberty or reaches to the puberty, then this testis, this ovary become active and they, uh, we can say here that uh, they start releasing the respective gamut cells including the ova from ovaries and sperm from the uh, testis. Okay, so development of the reproductive organ also occur during the, uh, when a person reaches to the adolescence phase. Okay, now let us see the next internal changes students. So I told you that here changes in mental, intellectual, mental, emotional, intellectual intellectual aspects aspects okay 
changes in mental, emotional, intellectual aspects. Now, what kind of a changes which we can see here? So, puberty is marked not only with the physical changes, not only it is restricted to the development of the reproductive organ, but yes, a lot of uh, mental or emotional changes can also be seen when a person reaches to the puberty. So, we can say here that puberty is marked It is marked with the change in the in the development of change in the development of the brain. development of the brain and its emotional behavior and its emotional behavior okay so puberty is marked with the change in the development of brain and its emotional behavior Okay, now the brain is what it is having a huge capacity to absorb anything. Okay, absorb or learn new thing. So the brain, the brain has a huge capacity has a huge capacity to absorb and learn new things and learn new things here when the person reaches to the adolescent phase students then they they do not want to listen to anyone actually they want to take decision they want to uh, live independent they want to become independent okay so here uh, they start thinking, they start showing, they start taking the decision and due to which they want to be an independent. So, we can say here that an individual begins to think begins to think and decide more independently begins to think and decide more independently now during puberty we will find especially uh, it is very common in the boys and the girls that they feel very uncomfortable uh, regarding the changes which is happening in their body okay so we can write here that they it is common in boys and girls common in boys and girls in boys and girls to feel uncomfortable to feel uncomfortable 
and become over sensitive and become over sensitive over sensitive about the physical appearance about the physical appearance okay so they feel very uneasy they feel very uncomfortable regarding the changes which is happening in their body regarding the changes which is occurring in their physical appearance now because of this is uncomfortable student they start feeling very irritated they become uh, they lose their temperature uh, tempo very frequently even there they will uh, find a uh, frequent mood swings also okay so this happens when the development uh, when uh, the person reaches to the age of uh, puberty okay now let us see that what are the different external changes which can be seen in a individual so we have understood the internal changes student now let us see the external changes that can occur in the body of a person during puberty so we can write here external changes external changes so the kind of a changes that are not only limited to the internally but the kind of a ch the changes also uh, can be seen external and such kind of a changes uh, which is a external change which we can see easily is the uh, secondary sex characteristics becomes uh, the cadis characteristic can be seen very easily when the changes happen with the person uh, reaches to the age of puberty so we can write here that uh, it involves the the secondary sex characteristics it involves the secondary sex characteristic okay and some of the secondary sex characteristic are student so the first of all is change in the shape of the body change in body shape okay so during puberty student you will find a lot of a changes occur in the shape of the body like the shoulder of that of the boys it become broader while in case of the uh, the girls it become narrower while in case of a chest students uh, the chest of the boys it becomes wider okay uh, not only this you will find that in case of a girls uh the the kind of a uh, changes happen is the waist it become wider uh then uh, the shoulder i told you it becomes narrower then hips it becomes broad in again while the chest uh, uh, the chest will uh, is the there the breast development starts occurring when uh, she become mature uh, physically mature that when it uh, when the, the girl reaches to the puberty so kind of a change in the shape of the body also occur during the uh, the puberty and since these changes can be seen easily these kind of a physical changes which uh, can be identified easily thus we will include it into the external changes so the first one is the change in the body shape only students 
so we can write here the that is during puberty during puberty the shoulder of a boy the shoulder of a boy becomes broader becomes broader okay and and the chest becomes wider and the chest becomes wider okay other thing that is muscles of the boys develop significantly muscles of the boys it develops significantly than the girl than so this is the uh, the changes that you will find in case of boys here when the boy reaches to puberty then the shoulder of the boy becomes broader uh, the chest is there it becomes wider as well as the muscles of the boy it develops significantly the muscles get developed uh than that of the girls then we will find the changes also occur in the girls also so let us see what are the different kind of a changes that we will find in case of girls so that is in girls during puberty in girls in girls the reason below the waist becomes wider becomes wider the reason below the chest below the waist becomes wider hip also broaden hips broaden then breast breast starts it starts developing along with the mammary gland along with the mammary glands okay so change in the body shape you will find that during puberty in girls the reason which is below to that of the body to to that of the waist it becomes wider hips that broaden and breast it starts developing uh, along with the uh, with that of the mammary gland okay so this is the first kind of a changes that we will find um, that as an external changes happen in the a uh, person's body when the person reaches to the puberty now let us see the second one is the development of a body hair
development of air development of hair here we can write that during puberty during puberty hair start growing hair starts growing near armpit in the armpit and the pubic region in the armpit and pubic region in the armpit and pubic region in a boy and a girl also so this is a common type of a hair grow that we will find in case of a boys also as well as in the case of Good. That is under uh, underarms. That is armpit and the pubic area. It is covered with the hair. And this kind of a growth or development of the hair occur in both. That is in the boys as well as in the girls also. Now, not only this students, we will find that the facial growth also occur. But the facial growth is limited to the boys only. So we can say here that facial growth of hair. facial growth of hair beard and mustache beard and mustache is more prominent in boys is more prominent in boys so the facial growth also occur student and this facial growth of the hair will include the beard will include the mustache and both of them what they are prominent in case of the uh, on the with the boys only so the second uh, external changes the second characteristics that we can see here is the development of hair only Okay, so the hair growth occurs in both in the boys as well as in the girls, but somewhere it is more prominent in the boys than that of the girls. Now let us see the next kind of a changes that we will observe is the voice change. voice change let me write the points which is related to the voice change and then i will explain you that how the voice changes occur when the person reaches to puberty so during puberty during puberty the larynx the larynx or voice box or voice box the larynx or the voice box in the throat in the throat increases in size increases in size so what happened during puberty the larynx or we called it as a voice box it increases size generally in case of a boy they are having the larger larynx sometimes this larynx it comes out per student and this uh, this uh, outgrowth is also called as adam's apple which is found mainly in boys so we can see here that uh, 
Generally, a boy has a larger lens. Okay, it is having the larger larynx than a girl. Than a girl. Then, boy develops deep voice. It develops a deep voice whereas girls whereas girls has a high pitched voice has a high pitched voice Okay, so you can see here in this, uh, 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 from here students that the larynx which is present in case of the boys, they are of a larger in size, they have increased size as compared to that of the uh, girls, boys are having the larger larynx, larynx is nothing but it is the white box and due to which the increase in the larynx will in also increase the size of the throat. Now, in due to the larger larynx present in the boys, it helps in giving a deep voice to the uh, to the boys. While in case of the girls, it, it will help in providing the high pitched voices to us. Okay, okay, it produces the high pitched voice. Now, next one is that is. The enlarged muscle in case of the boys make the voice of the boys hoarse. While in case of the female, they are having shrill voice or they are having high pitched voice. Okay, so we can say that the enlarged muscle the enlarged muscles of larynx in an adolescence in an adolescent boy Make his voice hoarse. Makes his voice harsh. So it is hoarse. Voice hoarse. Why? Later on. The voice will becomes normal. After that, the voice it becomes normal. So, voice changes happen here, student. Here, you will find it that uh, first of all, when the larynx is there, larynx expands. When the uh, person achieves the uh, puberty, and due to the expansion in case of boys. First of all, uh, when the boy reaches to the adolescence period of your body, their voice changes. It becomes a, a little bit hoarse students and after that, now uh, uh, it will become normal. So, this changes we will find when the person reaches to the puberty. Change in the voice also is a part of the external changes students. Okay. So, this is what, this is the kind of uh, uh, changes that we will find in case of the now in the boys or the girls when they achieve the uh, puberty. Okay. Here one more thing I will add that sometimes these uh, larynx they protrude outward and that we call as an Adam's apple which is present in case of the boys only. Okay.